uh, I would like to ask my uh, friend from Tennessee exactly, you know, that this discussion about Medicare Advantage, we, we have to better understand why, what is this program and why is it so popular? Is it because it offers seniors a chance to get additional benefits? But in, in, in answer to your question, the, the Medicare Advantage is an option that 11 million of the 40 million seniors who are on Medicare have, have chosen. And the reason they choose it is because it, the plans that are offered by private companies, often to people in rural areas, often to minority minorities, often they have higher percentage, lower income, lower income, lower, lower income Americans uh, choose these. They often choose them because these, the plans generally offer these benefits, dental care, vision care, hearing coverage, reduced hospital deductibles, lower co-payments, lower premiums, coordinated chronic care management, and physical fitness programs. Yeah, this, this whole program is about helping low-income people and minorities. When you stop and think about it, that's what Medicare Advantage is about. Could I they can't afford these. As, sen as a distinguished senator from, from Arizona has said, they, they can't afford these supplemental policies that AARP is going to make a, a lot of money off if they can, if they can, uh, if they can kill this program. There are a lot of gaps in traditional Medicare benefits, including high cost sharing and no out-of-pocket limits. That's why 89 percent of seniors have some form of supplemental coverage on top of uh, Medicare. For many low-income Americans and minorities, Medicare Advantage is the only way that they can afford the supplemental coverage. My colleague was talking earlier, in effect, making the point that you can't take $120 billion out of the program without hurting folks. Those on the other side of the aisle have said, well, we can, we can do that. We can cut by $120 billion and it still won't hurt anybody. My colleague asked the senator from Tennessee exactly what some of the benefits were and repeated those. So I went back to, to get the actual statistical number here. In dollar numbers, it goes from $135 a month down to $49 a month. In Texas, we have over 500,000 seniors enrolled in Medicare Advantage. And one of the great things about Medicare Advantage is that it is available in rural areas. Well, I, I agree with uh, the, sen the senator from Arizona that people choose to be on Medicare Advantage. 11 million people have chosen to be on Medicare Advantage because it's a wise choice to make because they get better benefits. I wonder if I might ask the senator from Idaho uh, to, to go back over a point he made just a moment ago because he went over it quickly, but it's such an important point and it's the one reflected by the chart behind him and by what he just said. Repeatedly, we're told that seniors won't lose benefits if you cut nearly a half trillion in Medicare. And the bottom line is I, I was asking the director of CEO whether the cuts to Medicare Advantage that are in the bill would reduce benefits to senior citizens. And he said yes. To the senator from Arizona, I was wondering uh, if every state could have the same treatment. Why not have every state get the shielding for their Medicare Advantage? That is 11 million people in this country who would be then helped by a fair assessment all over the country of this. But let me just point out one other point. The way they have been shielded is grandfathering. What about people who say, and was gosh, that, done, that sounds and really was that good. Shielding, and was, may I ask, was that shielding done on the floor of the Senate in open debate and, oh, and no. discussion of the issue? Oh, no. Now, amazingly. I think it was no. done in an office over here where we still await the white smoke. I've heard people on the other side of the aisle a number of times get up and say, this CBO says this bill reduces the health care spending of the federal government. Just the opposite. Just the CBO letter specifically said that the cost to the federal government of health care go up, go up under this bill in the 10-year period. And so this, this bill does not turn down the cost of health care. It does explode the size of government. It does put the government into the business of managing your health care. And as a result, I think it's going to reduce the quality of life of our children. 